Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the group anagrams problem using a different approach than before. Before we were using the sorting approach, this time we're going to solve this problem using the character count approach. So it says, given an array of strings, group anagrams together. As you can see, anagrams are words that have the same characters but the order may be different. So as you can see, the input is this list and this is the output. So all the words that are anagrams are grouped together in that list. These are anagrams and these are anagrams. So they have the same characters but in different order. So how can we solve this problem? So today I'm gonna teach you the character count approach. And this approach is that we take advantage of the property that two words are anagrams if and only if their character counts are the same. So they have to have the same characters and every character has to have the same character count. So using that information, we can use um, a hash map in order to make a key as, uh, for, the, for the map for every anagram and we can group those words that, that have the same character counts. Uh, to that key. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to try the code. First, I'm going to say if strs equals equals null or strs.length equals equals zero, I just return collections that empty list. So if the reference is null or the array is empty, I just return the empty list as a result. And as I said, I, I'm going to need a list of list of string, the final result gets a value of new array list of string, array list of list of string. So uh, I also need a map from string to list of string. I'm going to call it M gets a value of new hash map. Then I will iterate from left to right. I will examine every string in the STRS array. So for string str in STRS, for then for every string, I will have to count um, how many characters there are in this string. So I will have an array of integer count, because the value of new array of integer of size 26 because all inputs will be in lowercase letters, so I can use 26 for the size of the array. And then I can say stream builder sb gets the value new stream builder. And then I need to count the characters so of for char c in str that to char array. I will say count, I will increment the count for this character, so plus plus count sub c minus lowercase a. So I have to subtract lowercase a from this character so I can get index from 0 to 25. That way I don't have an index out of bounds exception since the size of, the, since the size of my array is 26. And then whenever I see a character, I increment the count for this position in the array. Then, once I have the count, I can actually build my key. So I can say for integer c in count, I can say sb.append c, and then I will say string t because the value of sb.toString. So t is my key. I can use this key now uh, for the map. Um, so this will be the key for this anagram and all the words that have the same character count will be mapped to this key and this key will be mapped to a list. So I will say if not map that contains key t map that put t so map into a new array list of string. Okay, and then I can say map that get t that add str. 
So what I'm doing here is that once I have the key T, I get the corresponding list and I add the corresponding string that maps to this key T. So because two anagrams um, are, they have to have the same character count, I use T as the key and I will group them together by assigning the corresponding string um, that maps to T to the list. And then um, I just have to I have to populate um, all the values here so I can say for list of string list in map that values result that add the list and then just return the final result. Now I'm gonna run the code. All right, I will submit my solution. Okay, so this is working perfectly. So the main idea is that two anagrams are an the two words are anagrams if and only if they have the same character count. So we use that we count the number of characters in every word and then we build a key uh, from the from the count and then if they are anagrams they will have the same the same key um, which is T and we group them together by getting the list and putting that word in that list corresponding to the to the key. The time complexity uh, for this approach is big of KN where K is the maximum length of a string in STRS and N is the length of STRS. The space complexity is also big of K times N. If you like this video, please press the like button, don't forget to subscribe, and see you next time.